Anna Marie, you were telling me earlier that you moved out here in 2008. Mm -hmm. right. Help me understand, what does it mean to you? Well, personally, when I moved here back in 2008, I had three small children. My youngest was only a year old, and I was looking for a place to take my kids, so that way I can get some books and get into some programs, and we just didn't have that around here. You know, when it comes to a library, what are some of the amenities? Uh, you know, you've got adults and children. What type of things do you guys have available for all the different age groups? Sure, um, we have a children's section, we have a young adult section um, separated off with uh, seating. Uh, we have computers, public computers for the patrons. We have uh, DVDs, Blu-rays, audiobooks, large print. Um, eventually we'll start having programming like story time and uh, other types of programming for all the ages. And you know our diversity here as far as family mix and then even now more retired individuals are coming here, that's great that there's that much diversity that you're going to be able to meet. Yes, we're trying to meet the needs of the entire community. That's perfect. I worked at the Queen Creek Library for two years and working at that particular library, it's the closest one to Santan Valley, so we had a lot of our citizens coming to Queen Creek asking for library cards and they were required to pay the $25 for six months or $50 for the year and if they couldn't do that, they really had no other options other than going to Florence or Apache Junction, which were quite a distance. Alex, our goal was to have this thing a grand opening on June 12th, but I know we ran into some glitches. Could you talk a little bit about that? Yeah, there was some uh, delays in the building itself and also in our uh, IT infrastructure. Do you have an idea when that's all going to happen? Um, by the end of the month, we should have our computers. All the books going to be here or whatever is available? All the books are already here and the staff is working very hard to uh, get them on the shelves, get them into the system and on the shelves. And we have how many libraries in the county now with this one? This will be the 13th location in oh. the county. And as long as you've been with the county, you've had some of these openings already occur. Um, well, actually, all the libraries were in existence when I got here oh, 20 really? years ago, yeah. So this is your first time or yes, two. Yes, it is. <laughs> Good. We're in the same boat, you and me. Then. I'm really excited. I mean, just seeing the building come up. Look, the building's coming up. I was just so excited that there was going to be a library. I didn't even know I was going to be involved in it at the time. I was just happy to see it come up. As far as the public library, we did a, a comprehensive study back in 2016, 17, when I first came on board and that was a big demand of the community here was the public library. So being able to deliver that for the community was a big, that's a big deal to me. And so this was something that we were able to pull off. There's gonna be 13,000 books. Now, whether or not you can get through them in a lifetime, I don't know, but if you don't read, we've got 8,000 on audio video that you're gonna be able to have access to. In addition to that, we've got eight computers that's gonna be available. There is a delay in those computers and that is what's delaying the opening of this facility. So we're looking at July, about the middle of July, we'll be sending more notices out to the individuals at, throughout the community and through to our neighbors. So our location is just east of the community college on Bella Vista and just east of uh, Gansel Road. Look forward to hanging out in the library with you.